You like spicy foods? There are several festivals this weekend that might satisfy your palate. And as our Pauline Chan tells us, eating those chilies is good for your health. It's mid-afternoon and Chef Felipe Fascioli is getting the food ready at Mata Patisco Cafe. The customers come in for the flavor, but what they might not know is that spicy foods are also being associated with health benefits. They like spicy food because the spiciness kind of bring other flavors up and helps with a lot of dishes. The yellow one is called Kumari. Mata Patisco's menu is Brazilian, but a study of nearly a half million people in China found that those who ate spicy food six to seven times a week had a 14 percent reduced risk of early death. They also showed lower rates of cancer, heart disease and respiratory disease. It's not clear if the benefits are because of the chilies themselves or if eating chilies was associated with other lifestyle habits like cooking with oil or drinking more fluids because of the spicy dishes. But the study says the findings support previous research that shows capsaicin, the main ingredient in chili peppers, has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Countries like India, Sri Lanka, uh, where people are usually like in tropical weather, they do eat that as well because it helps cooling down. Felipe is looking forward to sharing his cooking and its potential health benefits at a food truck festival in Pickering this weekend. And foodies were also out today for a preview. Do you have any hot sauce? Uh, chili flakes? Yeah. What kind of foods do you like to put chilies on? Everything except breakfast. Yeah, I like it hot because uh, it has a lot of flavor and, um, and yeah, it just, has, it just adds a kick to it. Like chili chicken? stuff like that and it's like Indian Rajma. Do you like spicy foods? I'm not a fan of spicy foods at all. I do like spicy foods. So not everyone's a fan, but if you're listening to the Chinese study, putting a little spice in your life could help you live longer. That study was conducted over a seven year period. The next step might be to follow populations in other countries to see if the findings still hold. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.